G'day all, I'm back in the same spot I was three minutes ago when I made a video about how to break the bead on this tyre using a high lift jack. Now it's probably a couple of weeks down the track um, on in YouTube time anyway and I'm going to show you how to remove the tyre from this rim using a pair of tyre levers. Now what I've got here, I've got two of these. These are tyre plier brand tyre levers. This is the real tough bit, is getting that tyre off the rim. Now I'm not uh, making a fool of myself on live YouTube right now by attempting this because I managed to do it the other day and it wasn't too hard on this tiny little tyre. So I'll show you how we do it. So I've popped the bead off on both sides of this wheel as um, shown in my other video. Now again the key all of this is lube. As I said in my other video, um, dishwashing liquid is probably the best thing that you might have handy to do this with, as WD-40 isn't that good for your rubber. But these tyres are going straight to the tip when they come off these rims, and I'm getting a new set put on. So I don't really care too much for them. So plenty of lubricant around there. And then we get the, probably pushing it down with your boot is the best way. Put the lever in behind the tyre. Pull it over the lip like that. Don't forget to have your other tyre ply handy, like I didn't, because now I have to let it go. The other tyre lever. Okay, try that again over the lip. Hold that with me boot. Reef on the other one. And now you can see why I said you probably don't want to be doing this with big 35s or something. And now we've got to try and get them in there again, so... Without undoing the hard bit of work I just did. See, the tricky bit now is because there's so much tension from it being popped partially over the rim. I'll try and get the bloody lever in. with the lube. Oh, gotcha. There we go. So before, put it in like that. Now it's better to get from this angle Jam that tire lever down in there. Nearly there. In fact, I could probably do that by hand now. There we go. That's one side of the tire off. I've got one side over. Now I've flipped the wheel onto the back side. And you can see that's nice and loose. But I've got to get the wheel past that second lip. Now just where the wheel meets the tyre, lube it up. Sorry about the uh, plumber's crack you might be seeing there. Thank you. 
There we go. Did it. Like I said, removing a tubeless tire from a rim is not a lot of fun. And that's only a 27 inch all-terrain tire. Granted, that thing is probably a lot tougher than a highway terrain tire. But shit, you don't want to be doing that with big hefty tires. So, a bit like the clutch video I did a while ago, I've shown you how difficult it is and how much you don't want to do this job. But if you've got to do it, there it is. And that hammer came in mighty handy to move my tire pliers around while getting that second lip over. Use plenty of lube, try not to damage your tire. So, you've seen in my previous video how to break the bead on the rim. You've seen in this video how to get the tire off the rim. So, if this has been helpful to you or you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe down the bottom there. Join all the other legends. Watch some trip videos and shit when I get back into them with the old Subaru. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.